Money in restaurants and power. Exactly. Nobody's got any money and power. It's a shit hole. Used to be a shit hole. Now it's up and coming. Uh, where in Bo? Marlin Road. It's virtually a motorway. Well, it's a busy main road, granted, but that's good. Plenty of passing train. <laughs> where in the Lyle End Road? It's a secret. <laughs> that's the first rule of business, Swain. Money first, information later. The premises are on a secret location that I will not disclose until the ink upon the deal is dry. You've lost the plot. I am the plot. <laughs> uh, look, the point is, Stephen is more likely to give us the money if you've come and had a look. Rubbish. It's true, he respects you. He respects you too. Uh, of course he does. I respect him. He respects you. He does, don't you? Yeah, you're right, he is respectful of me. To you. And to me. <laughs> 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 Maybe I'll have a quick word with him now, and so the German is mine. You think that much? Good idea. Yeah. Listen, Stephen is a man of vision. I am a man of vision. As mutual men of vision, we will see eye to eye. I'm sure you will. You'll see. Well, go on then. I'm going. <coughs> How long have you been working here? Same, Same as you, seven years. Long time, seven years. Itchy long time to be in the same place. You see, Swain, the world is divided between winners and losers, between men of vision and men of blindness. <laughs> Some can stand the heat, others stay in the kitchen. <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about.
Yes. yes. You would tell Sweeney how you work. Oh, <laughs> you'll never persuade him, he's dead set. That's what we'll see him. Bye. Yeah, bye. It's that way. Hey, Stephen, there is something I'd like to talk about. Fudgy. I'll be going then. Hey, Fudgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cycle kick. Cycle kick. Cycle kick. Oops. A uh, man of vision. You told him. We have words. Did you tell him? Our conversation covered a gamut of topics. <laughs> Mr. Rothering was but one of them. So you didn't tell him? No. <laughs> he wants to see you. You didn't tell him I wasn't playing. Sorry, mate. He prized it out of me. Cheers! Now I get near you, fool! Well, if you play. Bugsy, Floor needs a mop in there. Stephen wants it done. It's Frankie's turn. He's late. Probably shagging. Jealous? No. No. Did he pull that blonde bird? Where are you lying? She was gorgeous. Tits like the Hindenburg. Two Hindenburgs. Bugsy. <laughs> Evolve. Floor. It's Frankie's turn. Now go in, but don't you want to? Because he's your boyfriend. Oh, you are unbelievable. Yeah, well, your Mrs. Leaves you. She didn't leave me, it was music. Yeah, 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 your Mrs. Leaves you. Frankie moves in. Tongues will wag. Tongues will be cut off, Bugsy. <coughs> Do us a favor, mop the floor. Evening, all. Frankie. <laughs> Where's Genghis? Next door, first snoop expected. Oh, Frankie, Swing says he's not playing tonight. I know, no problem. If he doesn't play, there won't be a game. We'll be four-handed. No, we won't. There's me, and you, Stephen, Carl, and, and Tony. He's at his father's funeral. Fuck! Yeah, big fuck. Look on a bright side, boys. You're not going to do your bullocks for another week. Well, I haven't done them in quite some time, actually. Not since the... Since the... 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 So? What? Did you score? When? Last night. Who? <laughs> Long with the hair at table ten. Never you mind. Go on, go on. Did you hit middle pin? Did you fill your straight? Did you flop the nuts? Afraid <laughs> <laughs> not, Monty. Ah. But I got a shag. You did not. You're disgusting. You're like a dog on eat. Bitches go on eat, Monty. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. You should have a test, mate. I passed my cycling proficiency. No, you didn't. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Very funny. You won't be laughing when you find out you've got a charpy. You get paid back for all your filthiness. You're box ridden. You're a walking Syrian. Not sure the food, but your cup is a needle <laughs> full of death, mate. <laughs> Don't be about the bush. I'm serious. It's irresponsible. I hope you wipe the box seat after you've been. Look at this chain. Hey, Frankie. As uh, Muggsy told you. About his pleasure dome. What pleasure dome? In Mile End. What's this? Never you mind. Muggsy <laughs> is going into the restaurant business. Oh, yeah? Any chance of a job? No, you must be joking. <laughs> I think I must. Yeah, Muggsy. I don't know where it is. Mile End Road. Ah, nice and busy. Exactly, thank you. Plenty of local violence. Good for atmosphere. Uh, you can get stabbed <laughs> anywhere. I know it's safe. Oh, no. The question is, where in the Mile End Road? Never you mind. Ah, yeah, you see? That's a big secret. No one must know the secret location of Muggsy's master plan for culinary domination! <laughs> so we'll never know. Shame. Alright, alright, you must know. No, 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 I will tell you, but if you tell anyone else. What? What are you gonna do about it, Clint? I'll sue you. Oh, alright, I won't tell a soul then, Skeleton. Alright, swing. I swear, Brownie's on it. No, I'm serious. Okay. Yeah. Alright, um. Okay, this is the Marlin Road. Where's London? Marlon Road isn't. Where's there. central London? It is central London. It's ten minutes from the West End. It's conveniently located. Okay, you know the two. Yeah. You walk up 50 yards, tactical garage on the right. Yeah. Hospital on the left. Yeah. You know the public conveniences. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 Well, it's wider. <laughs> it's a business opportunity scheme, all right? This bloke from the council says I can have him for a grand. It's a grand. It's a toilet. They're enormous. <laughs> <laughs> it's potential on a stick. Come and see them, and then you'll understand. <laughs> I got a toilet in my flat. It went to prices. I don't need to see another one. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, all right, all right. You know, they laughed at the man who invented the wheel. Yeah, who was that then? I don't know, Mr. Fucking Wheel. <laughs> Mr. Fire, what are you? Yeah, and Mr. Toilet. Okay, yeah. Uh, that lovers of loot cuisine may travel the world searching for that elusive toilet cool restaurant. <laughs> you 
Say it's the one near the Texaco garage. Yeah. I had a piss in there last week. It's very spacious. Last <laughs> <laughs> week. Give the man a chance. Thank you, frankly. Don't worry, mate. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. I'm glad someone understands. Best of luck, Mum. Yeah, cheers, mate. Vision. That's all you need. Well, you've got to have a dream, haven't you? Yes, you do. And your dream is a toilet in the Mile End Road. <laughs> Taking the piss. More your line of work by the sound of things. <laughs> You're a wanker, Frankie. No, I'm not. I'm just jealous of your visionary perception. See, when I walk past, say, a graveyard, I can't see it as anything other than a graveyard. You walk past a graveyard and think, Casino. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference between us, Marks. Bijan, I'm going for a smoke. What is this? What is what? This. This what? This business. This is me. That. This is it. You. Yes, it is. You tell Stephen it was a toilet. Convenience, please. Not in so many words. In any words. Be careful, Lux. I am careful. They're a grand. It's a grand swing. If we play tonight, I could win a grand easy. Or lose it. Hi, <laughs> Dad. Well, hello, girl. What are you doing here? Well, I came to see you. I'll get my checkbook. Yeah. No, I don't need money. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, that's good. Yes, it's our new logo. I'm rather proud of it. Oh, yes, great. Hey, I've got a friend who can now work that for you. It is hard work. This is it. No, no, I mean the layout. You can never print it. This is the layout. Oh, I mean you've got... Say, you want a drink? You mean, can I have a drink, Dad? Yeah. You tell Sweeney I need to work with him while you're in there. Sure, do you want one? No thanks. All right, Coral. All right, Larry. Oh, come on. Have you told him? I'm not yet, Max. I'm just going. Can you play the night, Coral? Uh huh. Oh, Sweeney, don't want to see you when you've got a minute. Here, Coral. You've got the tunny on me. So we said Saturday. They sold it. No, Saturday next week. This week? You got me 50. What 50? The 50 quid you owe me. I don't need 50, do I? No. Oh, where is it? Well, we said next week. I need it, Carl. What are you playing with tonight, Carl? No, no. So give me some. Look, I haven't got it yet, Sweet. I'm sorry. Well, how are you going to play then? Daddy will provide. Well, I'm owed money. Leave him alone. He's good for it. Who? Tony owes me 300. He's not here. What? At a funeral from where? Bolton. You can get a cab. Who died? His dad. I reckon it's the water up there. It's got bits in it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll get you money, I promise. Trust me. Why? What? Why should I trust you? Look, if you need it that badly, I'll cover it. Clump the fucking floor! So, how are you? Very well. Okay for the game? Uh huh. We've got a bit of a problem with Sweeney. He's seeing his strong tomorrow, says he won't play tonight. Well, I'm sure you can persuade him otherwise. How's your mother? She's fine. Does she let you call her mother yet, or do you still have to call her Claire? Doesn't matter, she's a good mother. How's the dropout center? Oh, sorry, drop in. Shut up, it's a healing center, Dan. They're doing very well, they're nearly in profit. Nearly? Well, I mean. You were a hippie once. Yeah? Once? Mm -hmm. Look, what he wants? I've got a proposition. Muggsy's got this idea. You know the Marlin Road? Yes. Wasn't it the inspiration for Elliot's The Wasteland? <laughs> oh, it's great, it's got character. What do you mean, uh, is in character a euphemism for ugly? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Look, once he wants to open a restaurant, he wants to and he'd like me to be his partner. <laughs> what about the blind leaving the blind? Look, please, Dad. Look, we need some money to secure the premises. What premises? The place in the Marlin Road. What sort of money? Three thousand. Three thousand pounds? <laughs> Before you start, I'm not playing. I know, no problem. A fucking toilet, eh? Oh, the toilet. <laughs> so, do you uh, give it one or what? It? Long bird, table ten, big tits. Nah, she got a cab. Yeah, bullshit merchant. <laughs> do you really want to open a restaurant? Yes, I do. I thought you wanted to do nothing. We're getting through all this. Well, I've decided I want to do something. 
Next when did this Damascan conversion occur? I don't know, does it matter? I mean, I thought you'd be pleased. I mean, you can teach us. <laughs> no, I mean, you're right, I have been treading water. Look, can you lend us the money? Carl, I can't just lend you. Of course. No, it would be irresponsible. I can't just give you and Bugsy 3,000 pounds. The man's a buffoon. He's insane. He's still paying me off for the unmentionable. Well, they thought you might have faith in him. In me. Look, he thought in his innocence you might actually want to invest in him. Invest in him? What, is a tax write-off? <laughs> the man's a cretin. Well, he's not a cretin, Dad. He's a bloody idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Now just let him down gently, go to a number. Oh, no, what do you mean, do a number? Just don't abuse him. Look, has he got any idea what it costs? No, I'm sure he's got no idea. Oh, look, Carl, I'm sorry. I do, I do appreciate your desire to make something. Perhaps if you worked here and learned the business No, it's not going to happen, so why would you I don't mean work for me, I mean work with me. I'd like that, Carl. I'd like to see you more than once a week for a game of cards. Well, I've worked here before, it doesn't work. You need to do the washing up. Sorry, I'll do it as soon as I get out, I promise. I'll be home first. So I can miss the late. Better the travel agent. Oh, yeah? You're yeah, booking a dirty weekend? Alone? What is it, Wayne's package? <laughs> <laughs> Never you mind. But you're okay for tonight. You are okay for the game. Not exactly. I've got a cash flow problem. Tony owes me money. Tony's not here. I know. So you see him, Louise? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. What time? Nine. Early. Yeah, we're going to the zoo. Mugsy suggested the Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> She's only six. Five. Yeah, but it's her birthday soon, isn't it? Yeah, last month. So, are you saying you want me to lend you the money? No, I'm not. I haven't got the money, so I won't play. But if you don't play, how are you ever going to learn? Learn what? Self-discipline. Oh, Folk has got nothing to do with self-discipline. Yeah. It's about guts, it's about risk, it's about passion. You're living in a fantasy world, you're not the Cincinnati kid. Be ashamed not to play. Frank, don't you trip me. I'm serious, I owe you rent. It can wait. Our book is all about discipline, the discipline of the game itself, and the discipline of showing up here every Sunday night with enough money to play in the game. It's not school. It is, actually. It's a book of school. What is this? Don't you understand? I've got no choice. Of course you got a choice. You can play cards and see your kid. Her name is Louise. And I want to be awake when I see my daughter. I don't want to be sulking about some part I lost while she's staring at the penguins all excited. Carl, I taught you everything you know about poker. Well, I do okay. What about last week? You played like a mug. You are Mug Muggsy, which is saying something. Do you want to play? I also want to play. So stop pretending to be El Perfecto Daddy-O and play. Okay, last week I lost, but usually this year I've been winning. Sorry, Carl, you're wrong. I log every game. Remember, you're losing. You scared of losing? No. It depends on where you take the log from. You're losing? Yeah. Yeah, all right, I'm scared of losing. I've got a grand in the last three weeks. I'm not supposed to do all my dough tonight, then I got another spell of Louise tomorrow. Stick 50 quid in your back pocket. Don't touch I it. Got the discipline. You've got no discipline, Carl. You bet when you should check your call. <laughs> You play like a girl. <laughs> well, you told me. You told me I'd play. This is school. Frankie was years ago. So? Then either I taught you badly, or maybe, Carl, you don't deserve So now you are a better player than me. Oh, why can't you just what? be like you? Lost your bottle, gone soft. There's no shame in being scared. There is at a poker table. We're not at a poker table. You can't spend your whole life borrowing money. Sweeney Ted. Oh, Sweeney Ted. How is Sweeney Ted? Go up. You're the one with the teddy bear. Now, it's so important I play, I'll borrow the money off Mum. Come on, Swing. This is about you and me. But I thought it was about poker. Come on, Swing. Stop it, Frankie. Your mother. You wanker. Well, when I was your age, I was supporting a family. Go fuck yourself. While well, your mother sat at home on her fat Buddhist ass. Sat with a feeding <laughs> bottle in one hand. You're a cunt. And a joint in the other. So fucking what? Just play so we can play. I said drop it. You haven't got the money, then you can't play. Well, fine, then I won't play. Just play. Well, I want you to play. No, oh, I know. Come on. But I can't. I just can't keep lending you the money. Come on. Then I won't play. It's not a problem. This must be on my side. It is a problem. Only for you. I am on your side. It's every bloody week, Carl. No, it's not. Just play for a bit so we can play. No, why are you doing this? Sweeney. I'm not doing anything. Sweeney. How can we ever get anywhere? I'm better go. Sweeney. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, Fuck Out. Fuck off, Fuzzy. I am fucking off. Carl, what is it? You're shouting. Then fuck off, then. Don't have to shout It's me fucking off. I'm such a fucking little man. No shouting. All right. No shouting. Fucking off. Carl, come and sit down and talk about this in a civilized fashion. <laughs> I fucked <love> up! <laughs> <laughs>
Look, Carl, you have to understand that I can't keep lending you money. That's not the point. Just once, let me finish the sentence. I'm not playing. All right. All right. You're not playing. Fine. Why does it have to be so emotional? You know, why can't it be like you're a bank and I'm a customer? Why, so there's no emotional ties. So it's outside us, so it's just a transaction. How dare you? You want money from a bank, you go to a fucking bank. I can't go to a bank. Why is that, Carl? I don't need this! Because you're a compulsive gambler because you're addicted to slot machines, which, by the way, is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. No bank will touch you, Carl, because all last year you were bouncing checks all over London. And your father, your father, the bastard, i.e. me, by the way, covered on your debt so you wouldn't go to prison. So I wouldn't have gone to prison? Yes, you would, so don't you call me a bank. Don't you for one second think there can be any transaction between us that isn't emotional? Because whether you like it or not, I am your father, and you are my son. Just get a grip, Carl. Do you want a drink? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Open a bottle of ice cream. No, just because you're successful doesn't mean I'm good. Yes, yes, you are. You built this place up for nothing. Oh, don't you come in here with your naive, only worldly bulletin. Doug, you built this up from night. Spare me that, please. I want you to play, pal. If you don't play, I don't see you. Don't you understand? It's blackmail. No, it's not. Look, it's a hundred quid. If you want me to play, then lend me the money. Alright, it's your choice. I'm not asking to play. Thank you, my son. Hmm. What's this? House Red? <laughs> Alex, show me. Frank, <laughs> this is funny. Quit a bottle. The house has decided to drink good reds tonight. Hey, on your head, Frankie. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared, sweetie. Dad. Hey, you're watching. <laughs> yeah, where's Muggsy? Downstairs. Playing solitaire, full sword. It was cheating. Can't <laughs> even win in solitaire. <laughs> oh, I'm worried about him. Aren't we all? No, I mean about his toilet. Shut up, Muggs! Bottoms up. No, he's serious, you know? I mean, Stephen ain't gonna give him a penny. I'll come in. You are in. Yeah, but I mean, shall I go? No. Here, you sit down and have a drink. I'm sorry for shouting, and I can't. It's all right. Here, yeah, Muggs, I'll do that. You sure? Yeah, go on. You do it next week. Oh. Cheers, Frankie. So, uh, Frankie didn't persuade you to play? Rain dog, don't you? Yeah, I'd be the same if I had a kid. Or I'd teach my kid to play like Stephen did. It's a shame, really, because uh, tonight was going to be my last night. What? Yeah, I, uh, I had a medical this afternoon, and the doctor says I can't play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a rare heart condition, and uh, I can't stand the excitement, so... Uh, that's it. No more poker. I've lost the love of my life. <laughs> Oh, I'll get over it in time, I suppose. <laughs> Sweet. <coughs> You're the best you can do. God, <laughs> you bad. Go on, Sweet Play. Go on. I feel lucky tonight. I feel lucky for you tonight. Tonight is our night. Go on, Play. Go on. Yeah, all right. If it makes you happy, I will play. Good man. One hour. Good man. Fucking nut house. Uh, 
Sweeney, have any of my messenger boys told you to come and see me? It's all right. He's playing. Fire. Yes. Excellent. <coughs> I used my unique persuasive powers, and he grumbled instantaneously. Good for you. <laughs> so, did uh, Carl have a word with you? Yep. Are you chopping at the proverbial bit? I'm on heat. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches go on eating sticks. Can we discuss it later? Yeah, oh, we certainly can. We certainly can. Prior to the game, we shall thresh out the deal, and then I shall castrate you with my poker sword. And you. Cycle bit. Mm -hmm. There, take the lamb off. We only got two left. Fine, sacrifice it. Sweeney, have you heard about uh, Muggsy's little scheme? Yeah. It's been mentioned. Oh, what the hell am I going to say to him? I can't pass it. I know. Straight. I'm glad you came tonight, Sweeney. Well, I can let you down, boss. Yeah. What do you think of this? Do you know, though, eh? No, don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, two words. Frankie, fix the water under that table. Yeah. Yes is the word. Yes. You know, wobbly tables in my place. No, just wobbly waiters. <laughs>
Cheers. Anything else we can get you before we close? Well, I asked for a couple of amaretti biscuits if you stretch to those. Amaretti biscuits? No, I'm afraid we don't do those. There is a trattoria down the road if you're desperate. No, I'm okay here, thanks. So you are. Good night. Come on, hey, Mike. Hey, 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 hey. What's he doing in there? I think he's being stabbed at my restaurant. Must be from the good food guy. He wasn't uh, having a pop at my cooking, was he? No, he was having a pop at me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Why? This is good claret. Table four sent it back. Table four were drinking mineral water all night. <laughs> That's why they sent it back. <laughs> Show me the bottle. Show me the bottle, Frank. Reggie, the next time you decide to steal a 40 pound bottle of wine, you can at least have the decency to ask. Isn't that a contradiction in terms? Don't back up out with me, Frankie. This is theft. I'll pay for it. I bet you will. Trade price, by the way, no marker. You'll pay 40 pounds for it. 80! Oh. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't you knock it off me winnings tonight? It's not funny, Frankie. I'm not laughing. Nor am I. Well, I think we've established it's not funny then. Girls, girls, girls. It's all right, Stephen. I told him he could have it. Take it how many wages. It's a touching gesture, Sweeney, but you're a pathetic liar. Get a move on! <laughs> Come on. One cafetier. Just give it a couple of minutes, and then you press down on this thing quite slowly so it doesn't all uh, ruffle up. And well, that's it. Cheers. <laughs> and uh, I'm afraid we uh, don't have any of those biscuits. No problem. I've got a Snickers if you want. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I said okay, I'll have it. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I thought you'd say no. Well, have you got one or not? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
and the food. <laughs> <laughs> it needs uh, vision. Hmm? So what it plays, man? Okay. Yeah, I know you said. I meant what stakes. Oh, uh, it depends. It starts small, gets big, depending on who's doing them. I always say it's no fun unless it hurts. You play with more than you can afford? Yeah. Hey, what's the ante? Two from the dealer. Lifeline? Uh -huh. Dealer's choice? Yeah. Pot limit? Oh, it starts pot limit, and then about four in the morning the losers, the men, no limit. I bet you use wilds and all. Mm, you bet we do. So what's your game? <laughs> oh, you name it. The Oldham, Omaha, Irish, low ball, clean follows. I won't charge you for this thing. <laughs> Chicago, Hedgehog, Muggsy's Nightmare. What's that? No, I invented that one. Mm -hmm. It's um, five card stud. I low, two down, three up, fours, fours, and one eye jacks wild with a twist. The twist being, I'm the only one who understands it. <laughs> Hard speaker declarations. Hi, it's Steeler's choice. Flush is count high low? Yeah. Wheel goes? Everything goes. So you're a poker player then, eh? Me? Yeah. No. Oh, hi, yeah. Hi, Carl. Carl, oh, how did it go? Oh, we're staying in the restaurant. Oh, yeah, it went well. Nice. Good, because I'm dying. Ah, sorry. Ooh. No problems. Good meal. Terrific. Thank you. Uh, the bill? Come. Oh, yeah. Let's say this is the famous Muggsy. Oh, has he been serving you? Mm, very well, thank you. Oh, jeez. Uh, £29.50, Carl. Service? <laughs>
can't do it, Carl. This is fucked up. Get the money. Please don't make it. Right, I'll do it. No! Listen. Why don't you play in our game here tonight? You'll clean up. Clean up? In the baby's game? What do I win? A pack of smarties? No, there's money here. There's money, I promise. They're all shit. Mugsy lost three grand a month ago. Sometimes the game goes mental, everybody goes on tilt. You think there's four grand here? Maybe not four. Three, maybe two, definitely. I need four. Uh, there's four, there's four. <laughs> How much do you owe? Ten. How much have you got? Five, plus your fucking four. Please, come on. You're professional. <coughs> it's easy money. Look, you're brilliant. You're the best. Who's playing? Me. Muggsy. Sweeney, can pass. Pure aggression. No brains. Dad, granite, just push the right buttons and he's easy. And, and Frankie, he's quite good. What does that mean? Well, it's a good flash. So it's a good flash. And he's quite good. Yeah, in this game, which you'll kill him. Please. So, where are you going? Butlins? Las Vegas, mate. The States. U.S. of A. Wait. It's an open ticket. As soon as I've saved enough money, a couple of months. Do what? Play poker. What? Yeah, you turned professional poker player. Yeah. Why not? Because. It doesn't mean you have to. What about everything here? What are you? Here. I don't know. Me. Lux. You can come and visit me in my five star suite at Caesar's Palace. Yeah. I'll lay on some rods. Play tonight. You said you'd play. I mean, don't play if you don't want to. I don't want to let the boys down. Play for a while, see how it goes. Hey, you want my money? No. Yeah. Yeah. How much you got to save, Frank? A few grand. One big win and I'm sorted. I'm going, Swing. There's no way I'm not going. I've got the ticket, Swing. I've been saying for years I'm going to leave this shithole. What shithole? This place. London. England. This country's a shanty town. It's dead sweet. So go to Vegas. You're lucky. Thanks. Three hours. That's it. I go to your father. Thank you. Why do you piss me about? I haven't done it on purpose. What about all the meals at the casino? The money, the drinks, the late nights, the cabs. I've given you my time. I've taught you how to play poker. I've covered your debts for a year. I've trusted you. If you were to pay me, not. You're compulsive. Why, well, you're not. Yeah. No. The only thing I'm addicted to is these. Actually, can I have one? Fuck off, get your own. <laughs> Come on, don't be like my dad. I'm not like your dad, Carl. I don't care about you. I thought you liked me. Not especially. So why did you let me play in your game? The big boy in this game? Yeah. Because you're a mug. You're a man. So if you don't like me, why don't you go in there and get your money, huh? What's all this? Pity. You pity me. So, who shall I say you are? What do you think? Well, I can't say this is Ash. She's a professional poker player. You mind if you sit down and take some money? Say what you like. Is your problem? Look, you're my teacher. Ex-teacher. From where? School. What a fucking mess. <coughs> you seen Stephen? Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> you seen your dad? Nope. Sorry. Hey, everything okay? Fine. Yeah. Hey, Sick, Muggsy, do you reckon it would be okay if Ash sat in with us tonight? Oh, I don't know. You better ask your dad. I thought you didn't play. 
I play a bit and learn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta start somewhere. We'll teach you. Ah, miss, you must be downstairs setting up. Will you uh, tell them what words? Oh, okay. Okay. Smashing. Oh, come, come. Thanks for tilling the soil. What? We're sleeping in the restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Listen, listen, Mumsy, when you're talking to Dad, don't mention the figures. Talk generally. We've got to deal with them carefully, okay? I think I know how to handle a business situation. Yeah. <laughs> but just don't mention the actual sums involved. The grant. Yeah, exactly. We may want more. Start up capital. Let's be flexible, huh? Flexible. <coughs> <laughs> you got my money, Carl! No! Sleeps at the bottom of the sea and rapes mermaids. Jack the Kipper. You used to fight me. Look after that. What? 50 quid. Don't let me touch it. Alright. No, serious. Don't let me play with it. Right. So, uh. Where did you say you knew Carl from? I didn't say. I used to. What? No, nothing. Oh, hold well, on, well, go on. You were saying you used to. I used to be his teacher. Oh, right. <laughs> what, uh, what subject? Economics. Economics. <laughs> <laughs> Always useful. Money makes the world go around and all that. Hey, hey you know in medieval times, when they didn't know the earth was round, do you reckon they said money makes the world go flat? Yes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where did you teach Carl? Huh? They went to some boarding school, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I think it's cruel shipping your kids off to some place in the country full of puffs. No offense. <laughs> I don't teach anymore. Right. So, what do you do now? I eh? see so you got the old mobile there. You in business? Yeah. Yeah, what's so? Investment. Investment? What exactly is investment? I mean, I don't know what investment <laughs> is. But what, are the... what is it exactly? Give it a fucking rest, will you? Oh, Sorry. I do go on a bit sometimes. It's all right, I'm sorry. Hey, don't read the till. That's it. <laughs> it's empty anyway, the boss always takes the cash downstairs. Right. Oh. <laughs> I don't believe it. I see it, but I don't believe it. Caught your own reflection. <laughs> <laughs> Carl just invited table six to play tonight. You what? Serious? <laughs> I've been sussing him out. Ooh, Sherlock Muggsy. Hey, listen, I've learned all about him. Let's give me the edge over you, Muggs. Yeah, what's it like, Miss Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> Seems all right. It's a bit weird. Is he rich? Yeah, he's got a mobile. He's an investor. In what? I don't know. What does he look like? Like a mug? Does he look like a mug? I don't know. <coughs> what does a mug look like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That means you don't have to play. I'll play, I'm all right. Uh, you wait till tonight, I shall roast you. I shall have your bullets on a silver platter. Delicacy of Muggsy's Violin Bistro shithouse. Yeah, it's very witty. You won't be laughing when I slip your flat and ball sack into my wallet. What? Like you did four weeks ago? Was that on a certain night? What uh, night would that be? Oh, I forget. Was it? Was it? Ah, no, it It was, wasn't it? Was it? Stop mentioning it. No one mentions the unmentionable. What, the unmentionable night you lost three grand to our beloved employer? It never should have been in that end. It was the outdraw of the century. Hey, right? tell us about it, Lux. For a change. All right. I got aces. Right? It's my button. I raise before the flop. Everyone passes. Stephen back raises me. I think, right? I'll slow play from now on. Yes. I just call. Oh, yes. What does it flop? Only queen, queen, ace. I've only flopped the house. I've only flopped the stone, bonking, unbeatable rook of Gibraltar, Bank of England, nuts. I think be clever, man. Of course. I check a bets. I'm reading in for a queen king. Shoot it. Yeah. Maestro, on what basis? On the basis of. Fuck off. <laughs> all right, queen ace. If he's unlucky, all the better. He's just walked into my house and it's bigger than it is. So I just call. <laughs> Genius. The term. Like. No help. I check. He bets the pot at me. A monkey. Steven bets five hundred quid at me. You know what he's like. Great. I can't believe my luck. Now I know he's got queen ace. So I think right. He's committed. Yes. He's involved. Yes. I just call. Good play. Last card. What comes? The only card I don't want to see. The only card that beats me. A queen. I can't believe it. He must have four queens. He can't not have four queens. That's when you should have passed. 
I didn't know he made four queens. <laughs> it was obvious. He better grant it you. Play the man, not the cards. You fell in love with your aunt. But you. You were unlucky. Unlucky? Do you realize what the odds are for him hitting the queen on that last card? 43 to 1 against. Yeah, 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 43 to 1 against. You were unlucky, Mugs. How many more times do you want to hear it? Do you realize how many hours overtime I'm working to pay off that debt? Huh? I haven't had a day off in three weeks, and I'm working every Saturday night, and I had to cancel my holiday. I was going to take my mum up to Ramsgate. She loves it there. I'd say up especially. Mugs, I wish you'd won. I wish you'd clean a cut out. Lovely turn of phrase. Thank you. <laughs> you still shouldn't have called on the end. How can you pass aces? Sometimes you have to. I know. I knew I'd lost, and yet I still call. Why? Why did I call? Because you're a mug, Muggs. <laughs> it was so unfair. Do you expect justice at a poker table? I'll win it back tonight. You shall <laughs> see. Win back three grand and all the show. <laughs> Where is he anyway? We're supposed to be discussing business. Probably iron in the bays. No creakles on the bays. No creakles on the bays. Fucking nutter. <clears throat> My children, the game is on. The poker room awaits. At long last, it's like waiting for King Canute. <laughs> in what possible sense is it like waiting for <laughs> King Cunt. <laughs> Downstairs, come. Right, Stephen, can we get down to business, please? Just a moment, Muggsy. Ah. <clears throat> My son tells me you'd like to play with us tonight. Yeah, I'd like to, if it's all right with you. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Your waiter will bring you down in a minute. Right, Stephen, business, 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 business. Now, the key to this scheme is flexibleness. I see your role in this scheme as that of a silent partner, uh, one who can speak, but in a, in a quiet advisory capacity, uh, which is not to say that um, you're right. <laughs> Look, Mugsy, I have to tell you that I think my son is the last person in the world anyone should go to business with. You've got a very fair point. Mugsy, I don't want to disappoint you. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. I've anticipated your concerns. You're worried. I'll steal your trade. It's a reasonable anxiety for a proprietor. I'm prepared to offer you a deal, Stephen. We open on alternate nights. No. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a staff. It's a staff. If you're worried, I'll take Sweeney and Frankie with me. Again, I can offer you a job share scheme. No. <laughs> it's because of the location, Marlin Road. No, 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 of course not. Is it because it's a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> is it because the proposed property is, at present, a public convenience? Because once you see it, <laughs>
Good Monsieur. I'm sorry for laughing, really. Uh, look, Monty, we, we get on well, you and I. We, we have a good rapport. You're a much valued member of my staff. Thank you. Yeah, well, well it's... what? It's true. You've been here since day one. The customers are very fond of you. You're indispensable. You think I'm a good waiter? <laughs> You're my top man. You're my head waiter. What does that mean? You don't pay me more than anyone else. I'm working day and night for you. I'm working my balls off. You know why that <coughs> is. <laughs> Muggsy, you're like family. You're better than family. We actually get on. <laughs> exactly. So you, you don't want to lose me, so you won't help me in my business. That's what's going on underneath. You can't see it because it's buried so deep. But <laughs> I know you, Stephen. I can read you. That's what I think. All right. That's what you think. You want to hold me back? No. Look, you can choose to take this however you want, but I think it's the truth. I think you're angry. Came off a of poker debt, and the only way you know how, which is by working overtime, by working a ball job. Oh, now that we finish, and you find it humiliating, but there is no other way, Mumsy. I can't just scrub the debt. You outdrew me. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. It was bad luck. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, well, I'm the only one suffering for it. You lost, Mumsy. Losing pets. And this restaurant that you want to open, Mumsy, it's not real. Opening a restaurant is a huge risk. Nine out of ten don't survive. And you know nothing about this business. Dealing with suppliers, VAT returns, employment law. I could learn. You did. Yes, you could, but it's hard. I could do it. I'm not saying you couldn't. Well, you think it. You think I could. I think... I think you're good at the job that you do. I also think that you don't, in your heart, want to open a restaurant. I think it scares you. I think it is pointed with yourself that it escapes. You believe me, Monty. I do understand disappointment. That's what you think, is it? That's what I think. You got to. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going downstairs, okay? Yeah, okay. Will you bring him downstairs for me, please? Yep. Interested. He's definitely interested. He's having to think about it, but he's um he's interested. Right. Mm -hmm. You coming down? Yeah. I'm uh, just gonna go next door and get. Am I a mug? Of course you're not. Come on. We're done. Yeah. Okay.
tilty bastard. I'm not on tilt. Do a horizontal. Just for that, I shall re-raise. The bet is Tony's pregnant sister. What? Fifteen, mate. <laughs> well, I thought I told you to take off that monstrosity. Hey, your dictatorship ended two hours ago, mate. Poker law has been declared. The task stays. Your bet, Stevie Boy. Don't call me that. Pass. Awesome, Stevie Boy. What's for once in your life, you grand bastards? Poker mugs without the bloody lottery. <laughs> Poker without gambling is like sex without orgasm. <laughs> what would you know? <laughs> <laughs> Last time Muggsy had an orgasm, you know what came out? Dust. <laughs> Losing tonight by any chance, are you, Francis? Switch off. Gentlemen, we have a guest. Fifteen, Paul. Oh, yep. Cool. Flop of. Jack of spades, seven of spades, ten of diamonds. Demon. Super quick. Cool. Oh, my good friend, Sweeney Ted. I'm afraid I'm going to have to raise your ass. There's your fifty. And I raise. One hundred pounds sterling. Yeah, you want to call them actually two, preferably. Reckon your straight's gonna stand up more than your trips are a loser. I raised three hundred. Pass. Pass. Bye bye, Mossy. <laughs> oh, sweetie Ted, I'm afraid I'm going to have to raise your ass. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Pass, Mossy. What a poker face. Shut up, I'm thinking. Yeah, we can see that. We can see your brain sweat. It's dribbling out your ear all Shut up! Who raised me for the flop? You did! <laughs> you must have eight, nine of spades. I can't call them. Oh, come on, is that a pass? No! Oh, come on, it's not chess! Well, yeah, obviously you haven't read over all your only poker is chess with money. Not the way you play it. Not the way you play it. What date? Is it? Oh, for fuck's sake, Sunday! Monday, actually. No, oh, no, no, I mean what date? No. Odd number, right? No, hold on. How much is in the pocket? About 500. Here, yeah, Muggs, that's half a toilet. Six. <laughs> Six different toilets. You never were very good in math. Pass, Muggs. Shut up! All right, all right, it's a big pot. If I win this, I'm out of it. Eight nine of spades. He's got eight nine of spades. I'll stake my reputation on it. I prefer your money. Go. The bet is called. He's fucking bollocks. Okay. Four of diamonds. Demon. Your bet. One hundred and forty-six. All in. Cool. Shit. He's got eight nine of spades. That's where you're wrong, see, because I had a hunch he had eight nine of spades, but I distrusted my hunch because I've had a cold recently. Come on, I'll bet back. <laughs> I don't believe it! I don't fucking believe it! Eight and a spade! I do not believe it! Don't turn a spade off, don't turn a spade off, no spade, no spade, don't turn a spade, don't turn a spade, no spade, no spade, no I can't look, Frankie, tell me what comes. Ten of spades! Fuck! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Sorry, my mistake. Ten of clubs. Split pot. You <laughs> cunts. Drink of the light, mate. Come on, spit it up, I'll be Jesus, my whole life just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Any good? No, you were in it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got a full house. Where? There. It paid the board. Ten's on chat. Oh, he's right. Sorry, I didn't, so I didn't see it. Fuck! Shit! Dead piss! White butt bollocks! <laughs> Bad luck, Mumsy. I've just done 500 quits. The night is young. Carl, you might have warned us he was a pro. He's got a lot to give us luck. Again. Your deal, Carl. Any requests? Oh, yeah, I'd like to win, please. Seventy quits, no miracles. Oh, are you winning then, swing? Nobody's winning except I have our draw. Tax a bet. Choice, I'm the dealer, I'll play what I want. Just deal. 
Can you out? Yes, out. Ooh. Somebody remind me the rules to this ridiculous game. Five cards, stud, eye, low, two down, three up, horse, fours, and one eye jerks, wild card, speak, eight of better for the low, the wheel goes, suicide king up, you lose up, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's not poker, it's bloody bingo for brains, eh? <laughs> the game is like its inventor, a freak mutation. You don't play, Lemon. I'm not playing, Toilet. <laughs> Ash. Pass. Very wise. Call too, good boy. Uh, call. Yeah, call. No raise from the big blind. Three of clubs, jack of clubs, two eyes. Six of demons and ten of demons. Double demons, Jack to speak. Eight. Okay. One fat lady going in. What? Eight. What's saying? Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Nine of hearts, busted low. Five of clubs, possible flush. Seven of spades, threatening. And queen of hearts, wild. Tens are on the poppy. What is it? Forty. Midlife crisis, forty. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. How old are you, Stephen? 45. Didn't you have a crisis five years ago? Yes, when you started working. <laughs> Can we play cards, please? Oh, we can. I don't know about you. <laughs> Eight of clubs, still possible. King of hearts! Bad luck, mate. <laughs> what do you mean? So it's like, you lose our method. You walk, goodbye. No, you <laughs> never said. Yes, he did! <laughs> 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 Four of hearts. Check. You got the nifty. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's see what you find out. Mugsy. Yeah, it's 50. It's 47. 97. Hold it. Gold. What's got Mugsy? Five tens. How the fuck can you hit five tens? There's only four in the pack! I got one of them! I got queen four in the box, my son. Four wilds. You win. Oh, I wish you'd had more money, Swing. You'd have done your bullets. Roasted like a kipper, mate. I told you, tonight's my night. But he's back. The mug is back. You winning, then? No, but I'm on the way. <laughs> What'd you have, Swing? Flush. You can't call it that. I just did. And you lost. Yeah, all right. Just trying to help. Well, then, no, Mr. Uh, Big's such an expert, Mr. Vegas. Love us tip all over now, is it? Your deal, Frankie. I'm out of here. Seven stud, I low. Rather be, Stephen. Yep. Oh, oh my. Sweeney, um, Sweeney. Game on. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Your bet. Your Highness. You know the house rules have been under the game, you're not in the room. Sorry, I forgot. You the best. I haven't seen a card all night! I haven't seen a card! You're not night. in the game, you're not in the room! House rules! Oh, what does it matter, Stephen? What the fuck does it matter? It matters, Sweeney, because rules are rules. <laughs> They're your rules, Stephen. And nobody else gives a flying fuck. <laughs> eh? No smoking! He heard anything so ridiculous for a poker stool. And the bees on the table, that's the wrong game, that's. Oh, yes. Hey, you see this base? You see this? This tatty bit of shit? He takes it home every Sunday night, religiously. And he irons it. He fucking irons it, this. You know what he keeps on his computer? Accounts, invoices. No, he keeps a record of all the games we played. But those are little coloured graphs and charts. He lives for his poker. He can tell you who won a game with one hand on Easter Sunday six fucking years ago. Yeah, I can. You lost. You chose to play tonight, Sweeney. Don't use your self-hatred as a weapon against us. You are such a wanker, Stephen. You are such an unbelievable wanker. Good night. What is your fucking problem? I don't think I have a problem. I think I just want to play a quiet game of cards on a Sunday night without you in the background sloshing about in a sea of self-pity. Oh, come on. Come on, oh. oh, Frankie, let's go. I'd better get him out. Your best, Frank. You okay? I 
me. No, you stay. Cheers. Doing me money here, mate. I'm sorry. See you guys. See you, Swain. Nice. Nice to meet you, Ash. I hope you win a fucking lot. Good to see you, Stephen. Sweeney, do you suppose you and Louise will be able to find some place tomorrow with no entrance fees? You could try the Tate Gallery. Is she fond of Giacometti? See you first thing Tuesday, lunch. Sweetie. Yeah, right. Here you are. Fifty pounds overtime. Cheers. Sweet. No. Your bed. He just wasn't interested. Aye, aye. Don't freak it. What? Might be important. It's not your phone. All right, don't get your knickers in a twist, Carl. Don't answer it. It's not your phone. Well, maybe something's happened. It might be urgent. Yeah, and he gets called away without money. <laughs> Good point. Did he have that thing in the restaurant? Yeah. Well, I hope he didn't go off in there. He specifically says on the menu, no mobile phone. Swap. Might have disturbed the other customer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very funny, Fred. Where's he gone? For a fact. Can't play poker if you're not a smoker. You don't smoke. Yeah, I don't know. But about this. Do you smoke, Carlton? Me, no. I wonder why. Could it be because it kills you? Be my guest, friend, here, outside. <laughs> Actually, I've always thought it's a rather interesting tale, smoking. Who wants to live? Who wants to die? Hmm? He's got a point. Judas. Yeah, well, I'm pissed off at you for chucking your fag ends in my saddlebag. Hard to believe you were a 60 a day man. 40. Your teacher friend was rather good, Carl. He's just being lucky, that's all. I'll sort him out. Ooh, big man. How long did he teach you for? One or two years. It's funny, I don't remember him. It's probably because he never came to visit. Yes, I did. Twice in five years. <clears throat> Beer, anyone, Frankie? Yeah. Cheers. So, what did you say he taught you? I didn't. So what did he teach you? General studies. Marks? Yeah, is there a diaphago in there? Uh, yeah, your flat one from last week. Oh yeah, give it here. I won last week, must be a lucky cam. I thought it was uh, economics. Yeah, yeah, it's part of general studies. Oh. Curiouser and curiouser. Yeah. Hey, you think Sweden's over there? Yeah. Okay. He was a bit pissed, that's all. It's probably not used to such fine planet. Here you are. Fake it. Thank you, Dodger. Here's a discount for prompt payment. <laughs> Is staff discount 10%? Yes, if you're still on staff, Frank. I might not be. Oh, I mate, uh, your mobile went off. It's okay, though, we took a message. Give us the money or the kid gets it. <laughs> 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 Hold it. Ah, man after my own heart. Oh, Frankie, I forgot. What was she like? Who? The bird last night. Never you mind. Go on. I cannot understand what these women see in you. Bit of rough, isn't it? Yeah. Rough demon. I mean, <coughs> you should have seen him last night. He was well and stiff. I assure you I was not on the sniff. She looked like Miss Basil in 1975. Oh. No raise, the floss. Stephen doesn't like women, Ash. He prefers to surround himself with virile younger men. All stems from this high stakes poker game he's involved in. He's lost half his income to a woman. Game called Divorce. You ever played that? 
Yeah, I have, but I won. Resulta, what's your win? My freedom. The flop is <laughs> case of clubs for a club seven of diamonds. Demons. Check. So ever since then, Stephen's become a bit of a... <clears throat> oh, and you were doing so well, Frankie. The word you're groping I for. know the word. <coughs> Misogynist. That's the one. You'll get Check. And how are you spelling, misogynist? <laughs> no? Okay, we'll come back to you. I spell <laughs> I'm spelling it with an F for fuck! No, it's gone. Too late. You're there. Okay. Check. Check. Eight of diamonds. Demons. You fucking shut up about your fucking demons! <laughs> Ace of spades. Ten. Raise 30. Pass. 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 The discipline of the men. Pass, I can't go. Granite. No, Monty, real discipline. Look. Kings in the box, two aces on the board. I can't call. What do you have? Ah! <laughs> he bluffed me. Carl, get this man out of here. House rules, mate. No bluff in the management. I'll bear it in mind. <laughs> Your deal, Carl. Five card draw, red threes and black twos. Why? Yes. Oh, come on, Carl. Let's not play silly games. Dealer's choice. You can't play draw with wild cards. It's a classic game. You can't custom. Fine, we'll play hold them all night. Don't be pathetic. If you're going to play stupid kids' games, I might as well go play rummy with me now. He's absolutely right. It's dealer's choice. Except when Stephen and Frankie don't like it. I'm going up to the next stand. Now look what you've done. I haven't done anything. Look. We played silly buggers all night. Can we please play some serious poker with no wild cards? Going for a piss. <coughs> Discuss. <laughs> um. Frankie. Don't go. There's no skill involved with wild cards. It's all luck. And that's why you're going? Yeah. Okay. No other reason you can think of, because uh, it's just occurred to me that there might be another reason, like, oh, for example, <laughs> back up for the first time in living memory, you're actually losing. What? And you're winning? No. No, I'm not, but at least I'm staying to the end. At least I'm a good loser. That's why you're a loser! <laughs> <laughs> you're not? Go on, Carl. Deal around with Holden while your dad's gone. Right. So what exactly did you say to Stephen about the rest of the No, I did my best. I'm sorry. Ten to play. Ten. Ten. Did you see that, Muggs? He called 400 with a pair of threes. Play the man, not the cards. <laughs> How did you know? Know what? That I was bluffing. I guess. You guessed for more than 600 quid. I guess so. Bollocks. Frankie. Fuck off. How did you know? You've got a tell. Hmm? Me? What tell? Well, that'd be telling. Yeah, I ain't got a tell. You just fucking tilted in like a mug! You really want to know what your tell is? Yeah. You sure? Yes. When you bluff, you look scared. <laughs> Who's deal? I don't know. About two grand? Yeah. It's 
expect you'll be doing a bit of investing with that bus soon. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, there's that property on my... It's not a property, it's a toilet. It's a toilet, is that right? It's an extremely large public convenience located smack bang in the middle of the West End. It's in the 30s, Art Deco. Is it fuck? It would make a fantastic restaurant. Bollocks! Well, there are precedents. Are there? Sure. Who the fuck are you? Frankie, I'm in a business meeting! <laughs> what precedents? You know my snooker club in Shepherd's Bush? That used to be a toilet. Uh, still is. <laughs> I can have mine for a grand. She? Yeah. You, you reckon it could work? Uh, some place like this, but a bit uh, French uh, in the boat neighborhood? <laughs> well, I'd have thought they were gagging for some of that in the boat neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a look next week. I'd love to. Great. Brilliant. I'll, I'll give you the number off the car. Thanks. Thank you. I'll ring you tomorrow. Always here. Sorry, am I interrupting a board meeting? Never you mind. <laughs> Who's to you? Frankie? I'm out. Right, so, my deal. Let's play. Any requests? Odoo. Ash? Omaha. Let's play. A game for men of vision, Omaha. Because I want to win my money back. Shut it, it's you. 
It, you can't stop. It's no fun for you unless you lose. I don't want to lose. Yes, you do. Fun. You're addicted to it. You can't stop punishing it. Oh, no, look, Monty, I'm trying to protect you. From what? What do you think? I don't know. From, from yourself. I don't need protecting from myself. I'm my own best friend. I'm on my side. I'm on your side. <laughs> oh, let's see. Well, you're on your side. He's on his side. Carl's on his side. I'm on my side. Just deal someone, please. Hold him. You're mad. Yeah, hey, yeah. hold him just for you, Dad. I'm out. Half an hour. Oh, half an hour. Look at him. He's like a junkie with a new fix. Correction. He is a junkie with a new fix. Stand, Stephen. No. Your bet. No. Your bet. No. Your bet. No. Bet or pass. Bet. Bet or pass, Stephen. Good man. Cool. Good man. Yeah, game on. Oh, yes. Coming to get your boys. You know what the good book says. Early leaders, morning leaders. Well,